Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and today we're going to talk about order of operations with integers. Ooh. Okay, just a quick review on order of operations. Do you remember PEMDAS? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Okay, I write mine vertically like this with the M and the D together because multiplication and division is at the same time. It just goes from left to right like you're reading a book, whichever one occurs first. Same thing for addition and subtraction, left to right, like you're reading a book, whichever one occurs, the, occurs first. So let's just do a quick review of PEMDAS. I'm actually going to write PEMDAS. And I'm ready to solve. In this first problem, there are no parentheses. The E stands for exponents. Now, you haven't learned that yet. We will learn that this year. But for now, there will be no exponents. So we're just ready for multiplication and division, left to right. So as I go from the left side, the only thing I see is a division. And so I'm going to underline that division. This is the first step, the first part that I'm going to solve, 10 divided by 2. So I'm going to underline it. Then I'm going to rewrite my expression. And when I get to 10 divided by 2, I'm going to solve it. So I haven't done anything with the 25, so I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to bring down my plus sign. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I replace 10 divided by 2 with the 5. And then the next step is just one operation of 25 plus 5, which is 30, and I'll circle my answer. Check it. We are correct. Okay, let's go on and look at the next one. 6 divided by 2 plus parentheses 5 times 4. So this time we do have a P, a parentheses. So I'm going to underline what's inside my parentheses. I need to solve this first. So I'm going to rewrite my expression. I haven't done anything with the 6 divided by the 2 or the plus sign. Now I'm going to solve the 5 times 4 and write 20. I have no more parentheses. There are no exponents, multiplication, and division. There's only division, so I'm going to underline it. This is my next step. 6 divided by 2 is 3. I'm going to bring down the plus 20. Please don't do it in your head. I know you can. A lot of you probably would have written 23 right there. That's not what I want to see. I want to see the individual steps. And then the last step is to add 3 plus 20, and you do get 23. Check it. 23 is correct. So go ahead and pause the video. Work the next two examples on your own. When you have your answers, come back and check to see if you're correct. Okay, 12 minus 3 times 2 plus 4. The correct answer is 10. Did you get 10? If you did not get 10, go ahead and take a look at the steps and see if you can find your mistake. In our last example, 16 minus parentheses 10 plus 2 minus 3. Did you get 1? Great job if you did. If not, let's see where your mistake is. Now we're going to use our order of operations, but this time we're going to include integers. So they're not going to be all positive numbers. Some of them are going to be negative. So we're going to have to use the integer rules that we've just learned. Okay, example number one. Hmm, this is weird, parentheses. When you have, and we haven't really talked about this, but when you have a number sitting next to parentheses, that means to multiply. This really means to multiply. You're going to multiply. Parentheses really stands for groups. So this is a group of negative 5. And this is saying negative 6 groups of negative 5. And that means to multiply. So it's kind of new. Sometimes you maybe will see this with a dot. Negative 6 dot negative 5. That dot also means to multiply. So just be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and write down my PEMDAS. And you should do that as well. Now, parentheses. It looks like the negative 5 is inside parentheses, but parentheses should have an operation inside of it. And there is no operation here. This is just one of those parentheses that's telling us, hey, look at me, I'm negative. It just wants that negative to pop out at us. So this just means to multiply and addition. So there are no parentheses or exponents. We do have multiplication. Negative 6 times negative 5. A negative times a negative is a positive 30. Bring down the plus 12. And the last operation is to add, underline it, 30 plus 12 is 43. Going down to number 2. 
Again, a number next to the parentheses means to multiply. So you're multiplying a negative times a positive, and then you're adding seven. This inside the parentheses, there's no other operation inside. It's not eight plus two or eight minus seven. It's just eight. It's just a number. So it's not a true parentheses. Of course, there are no exponents, so we have multiplication and division. Multiply. Two times eight is 16. And a negative times a positive is a negative. Bring down the plus seven. And now you're ready to combine. So you, when you combine, you need to circle. A negative and a positive. If the signs are different, then subtract. 16 minus 7 is 9. Are there more negatives or more positives? There are more negatives. So negative 9 is your answer. Okay, number 4. I don't know how the numbers got out of order, but number 4. Try this one on your own and then come back and work it with me and see if you got it right. Okay, first thing we want to do is the multiplication. 3 times negative 6. 3 times 6 is 18, and a positive times a negative is a negative. Bring down the minus 3. Now you're ready to combine, so you need to circle your integers and their signs. The same signs. If the signs are different, add them up. I get 21, and you keep the sign negative. So the answer is negative 21. How'd you do? If you did, good. Great. Then go on and work 3, 5, and 6 on your own and come back and check your answer. If you're still having a little bit of problem, then go ahead and work with me. Pause the video and, well, don't pause it, but just work with me. Okay, number four, number three, we want to multiply first. Negative 4 times 0. When you have two parentheses next to each other, like we do here, that also means to multiply. And anything times 0 is going to be 0. Bring down the negative 4. I'm ready to combine. I'm combining 0 with a negative 4. Different signs. So subtract. 4 minus 0 is 4. And it's a negative 4. There are more negatives. Number 5, we're going to multiply first. A positive times a negative is a negative, And 4 times 13 is 52. Bring down the plus 20. Now I'm going to circle my integers and their signs because I'm ready to combine. The signs are different, so I have to subtract. 52 plus minus 20 is 32. There are more negatives, so my answer is a negative 32. And number 6, the last one. Negative 3 times negative 5 is a positive 15. Bring down the minus 16. I'm going, I didn't have to put that plus sign there. I don't know why I did. I'm going to circle the integers and their signs. The signs are different, so I have to subtract. 16 minus 15 is 1 and there are more negatives, so the answer is negative one. Okay, so if you need to look at this more, go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, I am going to look at number seven, and I wanna go ahead and clear this out, kinda of make room to work this problem. Move everything up out of the way, because I wanna talk about a couple of things. First of all, we have a fraction bar. What operation does a fraction bar mean to do? That's right, it means to divide. If you don't remember that, you need to make a note and you need to remember because you're going to see it this way a lot. This means division. So when you're doing your PEMDAS, this would fall in the MD step. Okay. So we have division, we have addition and addition. So we're going to do the division first. 100 divided by 25. Well, we know that's 4. And a negative divided by a negative is a positive 4. We're going to bring down everything else, plus negative 15, plus the 7. And now we're going to do our combining of our integers. We're going to go from left to right. We have a positive 4 and a negative 15. If the signs are different, then you have to subtract. 15 minus 4 is 11. There are more negatives, so it's a negative 11. Bring down the plus 7. Okay, do your combining, or just circling, I'm sorry, and you'll see that the signs are different. Again, if the signs are different, subtract. 11 minus 7 is 4. If there are more negatives, the answer is negative 4. Now, a lot of you are going to want to try to do this. A lot of you are going to want to go ahead and add the 4 and the 7 together because they're positive. Well, what happens when you do that? 
you get a positive 11, right? Okay, add it to the negative 15, and you're still going to get the negative 4, but that doesn't always work, so you have to be super, super careful. Okay, go in order, left to right, like you're reading a book. Okay, good job, Bobcats.